and girls, let's get started. Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? Good, good. Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? Good, good. It's time to start our day. We will learn and work and play. Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? Good, good. All right. We have our calendar here. Let me grab my pointer. <laughs> Alrighty, let's do some counting so we can see what the date is in January. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go ahead and put number seven on there. And now it's time to go to our mailbox. But you know what I forgot to tell you on Tuesday? Dylan wasn't here because he was visiting his cousin. He was away. So now today, we need to wake up Dylan. He's back. You ready? Help me wake him up. Dylan, time to wake up. What are you doing in here, Dylan? Oh, hi, boys and girls. I'm tired. Dylan, why are you so tired? Oh, because I just got back from a vacation last night. You went on a vacation? Well, not really a vacation. I was visiting my cousins. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think people were able to do some of that over Christmas break. Yeah, we just had a late Christmas. Well, all right, Dylan, let's see what else is in our mailbox so we can talk to the boys and girls. They've been busy this week doing things, showing us things that they can do. Oh, I can do something I want to tell them about. Okay, tell us about it. I can ride a bike. Do you know how to ride a bike? Yeah, uh-huh. Well, do you have training wheels on it? Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, okay. So, um, how old are you, Dylan? Oh, well, I'm almost four. Yeah, that's the same age as a lot of our preschoolers. So you still use training wheels on your bike? Yeah, but you know what? My dad said if I practice, I'll be able to learn how to ride without training wheels. That's true, Dylan. If there's something that you can't do, all you have to do is keep practicing and then you can do it. Yeah, I can't ride my bike without training wheels right now. But if I practice, then I can do it. You're right, Dylan. That's pretty good. Just like if somebody can't write their name yet by themselves, if they keep practicing, then they'll be able to do it. Yep, just like my bike. You're right, Dylan, just like your bike. All right, well, let's put Dylan down here for a minute so I can talk to you about some other things that you can do today. I bet that you can follow directions. Well, in your bag, you have this funny looking um, character on here. It's actually a snowman, but it doesn't really look like a snowman yet. Whoever's helping you do your homework has some directions that you're going to follow so that you can follow directions and make a snowman. All right, so I'm excited to see what your snowman ends up looking like after you follow directions. You are also going to create something today. You're going to hear this book called Snowballs, and everybody has a big piece of white paper in their bag. I'm going to make a video later. You'll be able to come back on and watch me create something. The reason why I picked this book is because this person uses all kinds of things in nature and things they have around their house to create a snowman. And you will be doing that today too. Um, your mom or dad, whoever's helping with your homework, or maybe even an older brother or sister, you'll be able to walk around and find things that you can use to create a snowman because you can do that even though you're only three or four years old you can create things 
And then we have our letter C handwriting paper that you'll have to um, work on today to practice making letter C's. All right, well, you have fun with your lessons today. And next time it's your day for school, you will be back in our classroom. Um, next week, it our school will be opening again and it will be time for you to come back to school. So we will be really excited to see you. Bye-bye.